Okay, with two-step equations, typically you deal with the part of the equation that is not connected to the variable first. And in this equation, the four is on the side of the equation with the variable, but it's not connected to it. So basically, if there's a two-step equation where there's addition or subtraction and multiplication and division, we do the addition and subtraction first. Basically, we're combining like terms. What is the negative fours like term in this equation? The 16, right? So we want to get those like terms together as our first step. Again, every time I want to see you putting it on both sides of the equation, we get 4y is equal to 20. That was step one. Step two is to divide by what? The four. Our goal is to leave that y with an invisible one in front of it, which we have done. 20 divided by four is five. We always check our work. Four times five minus four, does that equal 16? Well, we've got 20 minus four, and so it does check that 16 is equal to 16. Problem two has a fraction in it. We're not gonna pay attention to the fraction at first because our first thing is to combine like terms. We wanna get this seven together with this one. Negative one plus seven gives us six is equal to z over three. And now we're gonna do a reciprocal. What's the reciprocal for the right side of this problem? It's not three over z. It's three over one. Because remember, if there's a z or any variable on the top of a fraction in a problem, a, a, a blah, in the equation, there's an invisible one in front of it, right? We make it visible when we do the reciprocal. That leaves us with z on the right side and 18 over 1 on the left. We can check our work by putting 18 where the z was. Again, we're going to just combine like terms as our first step. 6 is equal to 18 over 3. And if I divide 18 by 3, I do get 6. Sorry, off screen there. Okay, let's do problem number 3 together. What's my, yes, question? I could put them all in parentheses. As long as one of them's in, it doesn't matter. Yeah, good question. Okay, so plus one is my first step to combine like terms. I get 7d equals 14. How do I separate that seven from that d? I'm gonna divide. d is equal to two. I should be boxing these because they get messy on these pages. I'm going to go back and put 7 times 2 minus 1 equals 13. Add the 1 to both sides. I get 7 times 2 equals 14. And 14 equals 14. For number 4, what is my first step? Everybody. What are my like terms in this last equation? Everybody. Four and six. Four and six. I need to get them together. It's a positive four here, so we subtract it to move it to the other side of the equation. That leaves us with a over three is equal to two. What's invisible in front of that a? One. So the reciprocal here is? Three over one. That leaves us with A on the left side and six on the right side. 
we rewrite this by doing 6 divided by 3 plus 4 does it equal 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2 plus 4 equals 6. So it checks. We are going to do two more problems together, and then I'm going to let you do the last two on your own. Would you like to do five or six together? They're similar. Five? Okay. Let's do five first. It's a little bit different than we've been seeing because we have something going on as a whole fraction, not as a separate number. So in this case, our first step is going to be to clear the denominator. And we are going to multiply by the reciprocal of the 1 over the 1 before the y and the h. So we're going to multiply this by h over 1. That's going to give us y minus 13. Oops, I put a 3 instead of a 13 is equal to, and I'll just tell you because we don't all have calculators, 14 times 8 is 112, 112. Now you might be thinking, why didn't I distribute that 8? Because I'm not multiplying this times what's in here. I'm multiplying this 8 over 1 by this 1 over 8, and that's what this whole fraction is. It's not distributive property, we're doing a reciprocal. Okay. We're going to add the 13 to both sides, and we get y is equal to 115. Hmm? I mean 125, thank you. I got distracted by outside noise and stopped thinking. How do I check this? I'm going to do 125 minus 13 divided by 8. Is it equal to 14? We're going to simplify the fraction. What's 125 minus 13? 112 divided by 8, and it does equal 14. And we'll do number seven. What do you notice on the left side of this equation? They're like terms. Our first step, if it's possible, is to combine like terms. If there's like terms to, to put together, we need to do that first. So this is going to become 11y is equal to 44. And then what do we do? Divide by 11 and we get y is equal to 4. Now, there's two ways I could check this. I could go back and I could put 4 in here and 4 in here, or I could go to this part of it, which would be easier because they're already combined, right? So I could say 11 times 4 is equal to 44, and it is. Okay, I'm going to stop now and I want you to work on 6 and 8 on your own and we'll continue.